Hey, what's up you guys? I'm 83 Based in. Welcome back for another one. So, this time I'm going to be talking about A school a little bit for undesignated airmen. So, you're going to go through boot camp, then you're going to get to Pensacola, Florida, and you'll spend roughly about 30 days there. Um, and you're going to wait probably a weekend and then you'll class up. I don't know how they're doing it right now because the coronavirus will probably be there longer. If you don't instantly class up, you're going to be on what they call barrack support. So you'll be standing watches, you'll be cleaning the barracks and things like that until you wait to class up. Um, so it's, it's really not that bad. But you're going to get there uh, the first night, you're going to get checked in. And it's awesome compared to boot camp. You're literally going to have a, looks like a hotel room. You got a rack on one side and a rack on the other side of the room. They're full-size beds. They're not like bunk beds. It's like a comfortable, nice rack. You got to keep everything clean still. That's the same thing. It's it's the military. And you're going to have a drawer to yourself, a set of drawers. You're going to have a computer stand to yourself, a desk. And you're going to have a rack. Then you'll have like a sink in the middle. And the only thing that's like conjoined is the head in the center. So you're going to share the head with the other two people on the other side of you. So you'll have two people over here in this room, a head that conjoins the room, and then your guys' room. Other than that, it's it's pretty laid back. So you just gotta like keep it clean. You'll have barracks or room inspections and things like that while you're at class and stuff. So when you first get there, you're gonna go to the next one base. Generally, your first day off will be like Sunday. And it's going to feel so weird because you don't have to wake up any specific time. You're going to wake up and be like, what am I supposed to be doing? So you go to the next, you'll get uniform items and stuff that you didn't get at boot camp that you're going to need like for the fleet, like your patches for your type threes and, and stuff. So you'll go get that stuff and you'll get cleaning supplies for your room. You'll get snacks if you want them. You'll get drinks for your, you know, you can put drinks, snacks, whatever in your fridge in your uh, cupboard you can have snacks you can have drinks you can have whatever you want like there's there's no rules anymore i mean there's rules but there's not like rules to like what you can have as far as snacks and and drinks and things like that so then you also get like laundry detergent or pods because you'll wash your own laundry there's a big laundry room and you'll go in there and wash your uniforms and your clothes if you're if you get to phase up to where you get to wear civilian clothes you'll wash those too so for undesignated i didn't actually stay there really long enough to get phase two so phase two is where you'll you'll get like these basic set of calls and then they'll give you your phase two liberty card which means you can wear like civilian clothes when you're not in a in a school or class um uh what are the instruction so when you're not doing class or you're not transiting or whatever you can wear civilian clothes so i didn't actually stay there long enough to get that i had my phase one liberty card until like the last three days so i wore civilian clothes for like three days that i when i wasn't in class and i was like eh, i mean it, it was cool but it, it didn't really last long enough to where i cared too much um, I didn't mind wearing the uniforms either, besides the peanut butters. When you go on Liberty, that was kind of trash. If you got to go, off, if you want to go off base or anything, and you have a Liberty buddy, you have to wear your peanut butters off base. So, also, you'll the galley there is fantastic. I actually enjoyed the galley there a lot, and it, you're already paying for it, so you might as well eat there. But there's also a, a bar on base called Portside. And in port side, there is a Taco Bell, there is a Panda Express, I think. There's a Subway and a Pizza Hut. And you can go there and eat if you want. Um, the bar, I didn't actually go to the bar, so I can't really talk about too much that goes on in there. Because, I mean, I was 23. I was definitely eligible to go there, but I just didn't. I just avoided that whole thing. I was like, well, I'll wait till I'm off of a military base to enjoy alcohol. So... Uh, that's what I did and for a school you're pretty much going to PT like two or three times a week I can't really remember but you're going to get up stupid early you're going to get up at like 4 30 4 o'clock in the morning you're going to go out to the field you're going to PT 
and each PT session is different. Um, trust me, it's it's a lot, a lot more complex PT than per se boot camp. If you're not in shape, get in shape. If you're in shape, stay in shape because that's no joke. The PT there is not a joke at all. You'll PT from about four or five o'clock in the morning until about seven. Then they'll release you back to the barracks where you'll go take a shower and then you'll clean up the, your room in case you have a room inspection while you're in class. And then you'll muster back out and then you'll go from class to about zero eight to about 1200. And then they'll cut you out for chow and then you'll come back sometimes. Sometimes you won't. It just depends on what they got for you that day. But you're going to learn a lot pretty much about AB rates because 9 out of 10 times you're going to end up with a division that's an AB rate. So that's a lot of what you learn. You'll take a couple tests on it. It's I can't really say it's not a pass or fail kind of thing because if you don't try, you could fail, I guess. But generally, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's not like a oh, am I going to fail kind of thing, like, you're, you're going to make it through. It, it's set up for, it's set up for success. You, you really can't fail it. If you do what you're told, show up, don't get in any trouble, things like that, you're, you're going to float through, and, and it's going to be a really quick month for you. But yeah, um, other than that, there's really not a whole lot to talk about A school. You're not there very long anyways. So, yeah, just do what you're told, and and study a little bit and, and you'll you'll make it it's fine but um other than that yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you have any questions comments concerns drop them down below um other than that give me a thumbs up give me a subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks